right? It's a problem with brush cleaning, right? With acrylic paints, it dries so bloody quick, right? Um, so many ruined brushes. Okay, so that's that's just like to start with. Um, you can the, then the only difference is that that's water based and that's oil based, right? Um, except you can get water based oil paint. <laughs> No, it's sort of like you can wash, it's water washable oil paint. It's weird, I've never used it, I know it exists. Let's not think about that, right? <laughs> so, right, I know it's, it's like the same as apple oranges. No, <laughs> it's weird. Um, okay, so let's just then forget about acrylic paint, because we're talking about oil paint. Um, so oil paint is a historic thing. It's um, it's been going a long time, right? So there's lots and lots of um, you know there's lots and lots of thinking about it. It's not just it's not like let's make a digital three D film, which is only, something like that's only been going for 20, 30 years, right? So there's there's a lot of luggage. <laughs> Right? Associated with oil painting. And it's quite good luggage. You can think about it and you can. Um, so, when, well, as soon as you make an oil painting, you're in conversation. Right? So, um, so I'm going to say this has got historic baggage. Right? So, as soon as you make a painting, you're like, dis you're in history <laughs> in a way. Mm -hmm. Right? So, I think that's great because you can incorporate and discard. Um, but it's good to know the territory, I think, because then you're like, then you're talking to it rather than just making it up from nowhere. Um, so, um, ways of tackling all the time. So, basically, there are kind of, there's sort of very, particular methods in different parts of art history in different countries, right? So learning a method is a good thing, right? And then knowing that method, doing it, um, rather than just having, oh, it's oil paint, oh, I'll just have a go. Yeah. Do learn a method, right? So I'll talk about some of those different methods, right? So. You know, so we're thinking about like the Renaissance. We're talking about Dutch masters. We're thinking about French Impressionism. And we're thinking about contemporary painting. These, these kind of old things have in common is that you have your 
You have your ground, which we talked about, which is kind of like um, staining your canvas. Like you build up your gesso, you stain your canvas with the kind of usually a burnt umber, right? Um, <laughs> uh, then you've got your cartoon, yeah. right? Or right, disegno, right, drawing, <laughs> basically, right? So you've got your your drawing, which you see, so you draw your thing. Um, so quite often. On, so on the Sistine Chapel, you've got a bit of paper, you stick a bunch of holes in it and punch some chalk powder through it to trace it onto the wall. Yeah? Yeah. Is that yeah. Really so, yeah, it's sort of, so you'd have your, your drawing um, and you prick lots of holes onto your drawing and then you have a bag of chalk powder. And so then, so the drawing's on there and you just so the drawing gets destroyed because the chalk yeah. powder is kind of like da, 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 da. you get like a little dot to dot drawing. So the, tra the, the image gets transferred. Nowadays we've got projectors. It's, yeah. a, it's an old fashioned projector, basically, right? Mm -hmm. um, so so a lot of Leonardo da Vinci's drawings don't exist because mm -hmm. they yeah get used, right? So the ones that do exist that are full scale though. So, um, I have no idea if I saw that right. Anyway, so, after that layer, of just the drawing, you've got the next layer, which is, usually is your tonal values. So it's a black and white version of your painting. And it's very, usually very thin. So you're very, very thin. Thin, 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 black and white version. Um, mm -hmm. So that's often called the chiaroscuro layer, mm -hmm. right? Just posh Italian for dark and white, <laughs> right? So when someone's like being pretentious in a, in a gallery, saying, oh, yeah, the score is magnificent, right? Just going, it's just pretty dark and light layer, right? Um, so, um, you, 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 you're not painting at this point. You're sort of using paint, but it's not like, it's not this multicolored, beautiful thing. It's, it's just, um, a, it's just a paint version of a charcoal drawing. Which is why the guy that you yeah. that, that you you're yeah. following yeah. is just he starts his drawings with charcoal, right? Mm -hmm. He's building a tonal layer, mm -hmm. right? But traditionally, you'd use a very thin, quick drying mm -hmm. uh, oil that's just just very thin down with types, right? So it dries. You put your dark charcoal <laughs> drying, and then the then obviously the, the thing would be chalk, you just get some white paint, put in the highlights, and what you've got then is you've got three tones. Why have we got three tones? Um, dark light and in between. Yeah, where's the mid coming from? The base. The, yeah. Uh, uh, the oh, the thing right. from there, yeah. From yeah, that. so you've got so your mid tone, right. you start right. with your mid tone, right. yeah, yeah. you put in your dark, so it's like first is the mids, which is your ground. So it's like starting with like, say if you're doing a charcoal drawing, starting with like uh, a coloured sugar paper or something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you put in your charcoal, which is like very thin. That's dark. And then you ch then your chalk, then you've got chalk, which is your you know your white paint. Mm. So that's your Kyoto score. Um, mm. uh, so in um, the so that's kind of like Renaissance time. Yeah. You you put in your um, yeah you do your.
your total total layer, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Um, when I do it, I don't bother with oil paint. Mm-hmm. I just do that layer with acrylic paint because yeah. I want to get on with it. Yeah, yeah. And it's like I want it to dry as soon as possible. So if you did, I would so you thin it down, get as thin as possible if you do oil paint. Mm-hmm. Right, so Oil paint. Uh, sorry, with acrylic paint, that's fine. Um, so you've got that tonal thing. Yeah. Um, so if you go to like um, French painting and that kind of Dutch tradition, they have this thing called grisaille. Um, I have no idea how to spell that. I'm just going to put that in a bit. Who knows? Well, someone knows. Right. <laughs> I'm literally here, thank you. It is I, who knows what hell that's spelled. Um, I, I made a punt at it. Um, so you start with a grey base, oh, yeah, yeah. and then everything is uh, literally, it's black, it's like a, a photocopy. Yeah. You, you, so you have your, your, your tone, it's just like, there's no colour, it's just grey. Mm-hmm. But you, you've still got that tonal thing that you're putting in. So you've got the grey base and then and you draw black, black and white. Black and white. Black and yeah. white and so do the darks, do the lights, and then you've got a tonal map. Right? We're not dealing with colour at all to start with. Yeah. Uh, with an oil paint tank. Like in this this in this, era. this method. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was, I was saying about how uh, in that book Chroma phobia that actually talks about this how serious things are all about drawing and colour is frivolous yeah. well with this method it's like all the colour is kind of like <coughs> the cherry on the cake yeah you know it's kind of like all the structure gets put in first mm. and then and then colour um, so so that's that's the first two stages um, so that's so you've got, you know, uh, start, mm-hmm. then the drawing, quick drawing, so it's three stages, isn't it? So then the chiaroscuro, mm-hmm. tonal thing. Then, um, you start with colour. But So if you imagine, if we're doing a portrait, you'd put a mid-tone glaze over the top of that drawing. Mm-hmm. Right? So... Um, do that the French impressions? Um, no, no, this is all, it's oh. kind of like pretty universal, right? Because yeah. so you've got your you've got your drawing. You don't want to kill the drawing. Mm. You want that to sort of still be un, in playing a part. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So you still kind of see it. It mm. might be lost at the end, but okay. it's kind of like you're not losing mm. it fully as you build it up. Mm. So your midtone colour. Okay. So that might be that you do a little wash. Yeah. With um, kind of like a, a mid skin tone, right? Just so that that black and white stuff takes mm-hmm. on some life, yeah. right? And then you go in with your dark colors, and then finally light colors. Mm-hmm. Right, and if you did it. You can't do white colours first and then dark colours later. What I mean is that? Oh, yeah. um, so, mm, the, the, the danger with oil painting is that it all starts to mix together mm. and it becomes a mess. Because it's a grey <laughs> mess, a sludgy mess, because it moves about. Right? So we want to be able to blend. So this is, there's no blending here. Right, this is all dry, 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 yeah. dry, dry. Yeah. Right. So then after that, you're kind of like, hmm, do I want to have? So I have to sort of generally, I just put like the general colours down, that blocking out of like, say I'm doing like still life of apples and oranges and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. I'll make my apple chiaroscuro version. I just make it sort of mid green, yeah. whack it in. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And then I'll whack in my orange, I'll put in like sort of a browny orange. Mm-hmm. So that just blocks, right? Block that out. In the same sort of way that I've got the ground. Yeah. It's like a second ground in a way. Um, so the reason why 
why you go dark um, is that you <laughs> is that you want to go also thin to thick. But partly because you don't get lost, right? Yeah. But the light is, you assume that that's kind of like the highlights. So the shine on an orange is usually that little yeah, thing, the, right? Yeah, the shine the eye. Ding, yeah, that's that, the last thing. Yeah. And it's usually quite thick mm -hmm. um, because it will tolerate. Yeah, anyway. If you start with light, then you have to kind of draw around it to get the shadows, which mm -hmm. you know, gets messy, right? So if you put in the dark, they put in the shadows, you're defining those shapes. Mm -hmm. So the shadows are already there, or you sort of go on top of the they, shadows. They are there, but you, could, there, you yeah. might want to sort of, Ex exaggerate the um, Yeah, but see, right and so you're going from, um, also you're going from sort of block, yeah. Block. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to yeah. De find detail as yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So from so not from here, but yeah. from from that sort of after you've done your yeah. tonal map, right? So you do tonal map and you block it out mm -hmm. with a bunch of yeah. like rough mid tone color, mm -hmm. then darks, mm -hmm. finally lights, mm -hmm. and you can go thin to thick. So the darks can be quite thin. Do you know what I mean? So and this goes for both Renaissance and Josh Masters. This is just like, yeah, this is like learning a generic. Yeah, this is learning a, a kind of method, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is this kind of old, I'm just going to call it old. Old Masters. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? But it's like old Don't Masters. Yeah, yeah, old master kind of mindset. We'll show you some of that. You've got, oh, Somebody's doing that. Hopefully, you'll, you'll believe in that, right? Mm -hmm. So, in fact, should we watch that? Yeah, let's yeah, watch yeah. that, and then let's do then, then the next thing, right? Because your yeah. brain might explode. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so this is um, someone doing uh, like um, this great a great channel. This guy, um, he's doing well, mother. Um, He's got he's got this uh very up Caravaggio uh method. Um, and it's what was it's a chiasco, right? So you've got your ground, um, you've got your drawing, he hasn't really done the drawing, it's just put his darks in. So you've got your darks, there you go, you've got your lights. Great. Um and then yeah, so you've got this the idea of like building up the um, mm -hmm. um, Yeah, it's, it's like a tonal it's a tonal map. Tonal thing, yeah. A tonal map, right? Mm. Looks a bit pasty, doesn't it? She mm. looks very pale. Right? So So you can see no colour. No colour, no colour, right? Building up, building up. And then blocks of colour over the top. Oh. Right? So you, the idea that you've got that tonal map already done, and then a thin layer of tone, mid-tone flesh colour over the top. Mm. Yeah? But is he still putting the same colour or still or different shades in between the dark? He gets a bit orangey. I think it's so. Orangey. No, I think, I think you're right. I think this is a very pale thing, and I think you're right. This mm. is like a deeper, different colour. So mm. it's not just one colour. Mm. But, but but sometimes you'll see it's just like, yeah, just do a, a wash over the whole thing to get started. Mm. But you can see that that, um, quite a lot of work is being done mm. and there's hardly any colour, mm. right? So that chiaroscuro dark thing, don't worry, we've got the stop recorded. Um, so, and then you can see Darks, lights over the top, and you see how it's very um, sketchy. Mm -hmm. So this is quite quite an old-fashioned style where there's not much blending. So it's quite cross-hatchy. Yeah. So that comes from that egg tempera 
uh, 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 mentality, yeah. Um, so cool. And then finally, <gasps> gosh, it's, it's, coming, it's yeah. an hour long speeded up thing. We're only in the last, you know, five minutes and suddenly a few bits of frivolous colour <laughs> get thrown at it, right? Um, there's hardly any, any thought to the colour. It's all about tonal mapping. I think in there there's a the highlight. And yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What do you see? Th- yeah. Sorry, what do you think he's using that stick? I mean, I, I can see it to support the hand, but how does it work? It is obviously you can't touch the painting. Yeah, so you, you've got, um, often you've got a pad on the top of a stick, mm. and it's to oh. lean your hand to, to create stability. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I yeah. very smart, yeah. I just about that. Kind of, I can't I can, um, so use see it. how it's made, that stick. Yeah. It can't be just a but stick. This it needs to have something to it. So, so if it's if it's um, hung on the wall or on an easel, mm-hmm. you might have um, the stick sort of mm-hmm. attached to the top, the easel, and then yeah. you kind of yeah. right. But quite often you just um, if you're working mm-hmm. down the table, yeah, you've got this pad usually, and um, maybe a book, and you mm-hmm. can just you can just hover over without smudging your hand and mm-hmm. getting involved. So it's about stability, mm-hmm. being able to. Seen that brand leather ball on a stick? They use this round leather balls when they put on a stick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I've seen them just like a stick. Mm-hmm. It has a name, but I'm not really good with that. Yeah. So um, I want to say it's a Dremel, but it's not something. Mm-hmm. Something else. Yeah. It's called something else. Uh, why? Oh, I need to look here. Um, so yeah, so that's mm-hmm. that's kind of Caravaggio. Uh, an impression of Caravaggio, mm-hmm. and you can see the last thing is thick detail over the top yeah. that's just dropped in, mm-hmm. just drawn. So it's very much drawing, it's drawing right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and and you're trying not to. There's not really much blending involved. Mm-hmm. So that's that's sort of that Caravaggio thing. Let's see where we're we okay. So this is kind of like. Um, like a da Vinci kind of technique. So it's called svumato. Svumato. So with an SF, so svumato. Oh. <laughs> right? Um, and it's pretty similar, right? So you've got this um, um, dark, dark light, charcoal kind of vibes, right? Um, and wash over the top. And, and then you're just pushing a colour over it, taking, just allowing that, that uh, tonal uh, map to speak through, mm-hmm. right? Now, with, with Sfumato, it's instead of like drawing lines to like cross hatchy, this is very much about blending. Mm-hmm. So the oil paint is really useful because um, this so his his drawing brush is um, his his laying down brush is quite thin when he lays down paint. We can see that's his blending brush. So there's no paint on that brush. Yeah. It's just trying to get them to blend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can see if we go let's see zoom put it down. See that's that's the, that's the brush that he puts it down. Puts, puts, um, oh my goodness. That was the last colour. So, so rosy cheek. Yeah, and as you can see, that it's just blending in. So we're going slowly from dark to light because we've got all of the darks are in. Mm-hmm. They started in that tonal bit and then mid tones, and now you'll see just like each layer, you just build up another register on the tone. So you just go up a little bit, blend it, go up a little bit more. Yeah. So it's almost as if he puts undercolor and then the blending kind of takes parts of it off again. Yeah. Yeah, because he's trying to like unify it with the dark. But so with the mid tone before. Don't you have to wait like a day in between to dry the bit? Mm. Oh, yeah. You're putting on such fine layers that yeah. you don't actually. Yeah, it's well the things that the advantage. Around with paint there, right? you, you, 
So, so if you're going thin to thick, right? Yeah. It's um, the idea is that it's not you want it to blend, mm. right? Mm. So you want that mixture, and so you're being strategic with darks, a thin lights are getting thicker and thicker, mm. and each time it all gets unified together with this kind of feathering blending. Yeah, feathering. Yeah, that's yeah. what. That's what's happening. Yeah. So that's the sfumato. It's this kind of uh, um, mm. smudgy, sort of sounds smudgy, mm. doesn't it? Mm. That's sort of blending. Uh, but you can see like intense colours very late mm. in the day. And you can see that very gradually. Um, I have no idea what it's doing there. Okay. <laughs> You, yeah, you can see, you can see, it, but it's, it's the same thing, completely different um, approach to building up. But it's um, mm. it's still dark to light. The tonal values are put in first. Mm. Yeah. Um, so that's old painting, right? Um, so I do quite a bit. Of, I do this. I do this, but it's like a hybrid. Yeah, yeah. I will put in yes. my. So this, at this kind of level, mm -hmm. this kind of, this, this bit, yeah. I'm not interested in oil paint. It's like, yeah. it's the undercoat. So I'm, I'll, I'll, put, I'll, I'll put everything down in acrylic yeah. so that it's dry. And then, and then the layering that I want to be yeah. moving around, yeah. I'll use oil paint over the top. Well, they didn't have acrylic, did they? They didn't have access to acrylic. So, no, in fact, if they didn't live now, they might be doing what yeah. they're doing. Yeah, 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 maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but also, you could use the liquid to, to, um, yeah. to quicken up the drying. Yeah. If you, but, yeah. but it doesn't really yeah. matter because yeah. that, the thing that's underneath, you want to be quite stable anyway, mm. I think. Mm. Right? Um, and, I'm, and, and, and I love the kind of mm. oil paint that's. <clears throat> They can feel you've got more control over it, mm. right? So this is a very fixed down technique. You can see that it's like stages, mm. dark, mm. to mid-tone, then dark, then light. And you build it up gradually. And you, and you draw out the detail as you go. Yeah? So every, you do everything all at once, mm. <laughs> right? And you're just almost like you're turning up the the dial on a microscope. So you've got one level of focus mm. and then you've got another yeah. layer and another layer and yeah. you're just gradually mm. tightening up how many levels of focus mm. you're doing. Right, okay, so old painting, done, tick. <laughs> yeah. Right, and then, okay, yeah. so, so, let's, yeah. so let's put that aside and then talk about some other things. Mm. So, so you think about that kind of French Impressionist kind of uh, painting, mm. what was the big deal with that sort of that French Impressionist thing? What was their vibes? Uh, did it have something? Like photography. I said, I mean, it was outside, it was all about light, wasn't it? Mm. It was all about like, how do we capture light? Mm. How do we get something immediate? Mm. So it was like, it was like trying to, yeah, it was because because photography had happened, it was like, well, okay, we're redundant now. We don't need to do dusty old paintings. And they were stark contrasts, colours that they see in nature. Yeah, so, so, so the idea of like being directly encountering with nature, um, you haven't got time for this rubbish, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like, I've got my thing in front of me, I want to capture directly what my impression of yeah. nature is. Mm. Um, so this kind of this is so the word is alla prima, alla prima, alla prima kind of um, way of thinking about oil paint, right? So I'm, I'm just throwing out these words because. It helps you, like, locate and then get have a word. You know, it's like okay, this these are the words for the vocabulary for the for the 
the, for the method, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. It's like, oh, I can watch a bunch of YouTube videos of like how to Why get my our oh, dreamer thing. Right? Put it there and then we'll do it. It's like, okay, right. Oh yeah, there you go. Cool. That's an easy there. But yeah, good. <laughs> um, so there's no layers with this, except for it's all at once. There's no drying time. You don't come back afterwards. Mm. Um, you still have that um, the idea that you're mixing and you're putting stuff down as you go, and that and all it is really is that you're going from thin to thick, um, and the mid tone thing is still a thing. Yeah, so dark to light. You just don't have to have that tonal map underneath. Yeah. That's the thing that you lose with the Alla Prima method. So it's all much more loose. Um, so if you think about, um... They get rid of the cartoon in a way, don't they? Yeah. Sort of. Yeah, they just, just, just going for it. And it, it requires a bit more confidence in a yeah, way. Yeah. Because you don't have, you can't, you're not relying on that structure. Mm. Um, so, yeah, you can see that this is sort of doing a little, mm. a little impression of it. Mm. Uh, see that you've still got a stained canvas, it's not white, it's still off, off shade, but you can see it's just whacking down the, the shadows, right, and the mid-tones, mm. leaving the highlights, okay, um, and, and I suppose you can see that as you, historically, you, you, you um, after the impressionist kind of time, the idea is that you you, look, you start to um, reveal the brush strokes. Yeah. Because you're saying to the audience, look at this, this is a painting. Mm -hmm. Right? Whereas before it's like, look at this, I've re rendered reality in a certain way. Yeah. So this is like, no, look, this is I'm making, I'm having some fun with paint. Mm -hmm. But you can see midterm, midterm, midterm. All mid tone, and then you just all you're doing is cranking up the, the detail. Can you see how thin it is, though? Yeah. Is right. that? Would you say that's all mid tone? Um, well, yeah, yeah. 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 There's different. There's two or three different mid tones there, but yeah, great. Um, but it's not like you. You're not. You're not. You're not finishing off an eye. And then moving on to the next thing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's different. That's a, so if you think about painting by numbers, yeah. right? The painting by numbers method mm -hmm. would be to draw a bunch of areas yeah. and then colour them in. Yeah. Right? This is just mm -hmm. um, right. everything raising up the level of detail as you go. Yeah, so you can just see, go, 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 and there's that a bit of blending as you go, but can you see that it's just actually, a lot of the time it's cutting in mm -hmm. with dark to create the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so in some ways they're almost, yeah. I want to say they're, they're going from mid tone to dark, but actually they are... Uh, they're going from mid tone to dark and yeah. light. Yeah. So, but you kind of like it, it's like the rough, rough, mm -hmm. rough, rough version, mm -hmm. and then you want to. I. It's, it's, it, it's intuitive, right? right? But it's kind of like. Yeah, but so everybody does their own. But but it's like I would say that you're at the start. Is there a drawing at the start? I don't know. Or is there? No, no, no the, really. the drawing is, so is kind of... Not, they're not drawing lines, are they? They're not going this no. line here. No. But it's, you're still it's putting in... A rough sketch. A rough sketch, mm. right? So this is, you know... But you can see it's very thin and yeah. it's very... Hmm. It is mid-tone. I mean, it's not, it's not like you get, you're not taking something very dark black and going, no. that's it. It's still mid tone, even though there are different levels of that yeah. mid tone. Yeah. Yeah. And then you want to, then you're cutting in, 
and then you just build it. See, change the brush. Small brush now, <laughs> right? And and slowly. But what's lovely about that is then you can leave those big brush marks on the outside, mm. right? So you can change the level of focus. Or you could just use one hand. Yeah. So now he's using a blending brush, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So you see, yeah, that's right. So it's but it's, it's the, the joy of um, oil paint is that moving about. And so that's why you use it, is because it, it will blend a little bit. Mm. Otherwise, you'd create a, otherwise you just create a problem for no reason, <laughs> right? Use a good paint, right? Mm. Um, but the idea is that you can kind of move it around and um, you can also take the oil paint off. Yeah. So a big, a big technique is to take a, a rag and lift the paint off, right? Because yeah. it just it's gone down, it isn't there forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you want something quite clean, you take a rag and just take off some paint and then put something else down. These reds wouldn't be separate. Oh, it's Caravaggio's palette, that's why. That's not yeah, the Zorn. It's not Zorn, is it? Right. Um, the Zorn like, reduced it to. There we go. So he, he, he had black, red, yellow ochre, and white. Wow. That's it. That's it. What? Right? <laughs> Where's the blue? Yeah, right? So, in a way, the black and the white become the blue. That sort of mm. grey mm. is a cool, a cool mm. kind of grey, mm. and that's in place of blue, right? So mm. it's a very restrictive palette, mm. but you get that kind of old-fashioned kind of sepia. It looks thing. like Caravaggio in the end. So you get things like this. So um, there, this this person. Recognize this person? Yes, it's um, 
Jenny Sato. Oh my god. She's she's quite a zone palette. Oh Jenny Sato, not Jenny Sato, sorry. Jenny. Uh not Jenny Sato. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the nose is in a zone palette as well. Um <laughs> But so it's very like to do the body yeah. usually. So it's quite you know portrait and body and yeah. but you can see that. Um, but not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Her last ones are all oh, are they all pink, um, blue, oh. all of them. It's not mixed. It's oh, all like cool. lines like here and there, abstract on top of. Uh, like, oh, I'm excited! I really want to see. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Jeez. Multi color. Um, so. Jeez. So yeah, this. This is, um, yeah, you can, this is a thing, this is a really nice discipline, yeah, is yeah. to do a la prima zone, mm -hmm. because uh, all of the other stuff kind of like melts away, and you're just left with, okay, what am I painting? Mm -hmm. um, because you, in a sense, you've just got dark lights, warm tones, yeah. mm -hmm. and cool tones, the cool tones come from the ivory black. Um, so, I mean, there you go, this sort of, like, What very... red is the, was the red ochre? Or, <coughs> or any red? Does it I think it's... I think, yeah, I think it's quite... I don't know. I don't know. It's a bright, it's quite a bright red. But yeah, it's about mm -hmm. having to... Anyway, this is just like, this exists, right? Yeah. So Zorn, uh, you can see, is that the Zorn palette? Yeah, that might be. Can you see that's the range of colour? You think, oh, I've only got a few tubes of paint. Mm -hmm. But actually, you see that cool mm -hmm. ivory black? It has got funny... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 ivory yeah. black. So the top yeah. one is the Zorn. It's a, it, anyway, so don't worry about it, but it's like, no, it exists, right? I'm just sort of almost like I'm giving you my vocabulary of painting, mm -hmm. right? what I think of that, uh, that exists. So, um, so, a la prima, and then also like restricted palette, so on, right? Um, and then, you know, obviously that's sort of Monet kind of thing. Not necessarily going with that okra base, <sighs> right? You kind of like, with Monet, it's just like, okay, let's go. Um, Monet had an okra base? No, no, it didn't. Oh, right. No, it was just, here's, the, here's a white canvas, let's just get down, okay, yeah. something, something. Because it was about trying to expose light. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, um, so this is all very historic, isn't it? This is like oldie worldy <laughs> life. Um, so coming out of, um, you know, coming into the 1950s, um, there's this idea that, that you take the paint and it's a thing in itself, yeah. Yeah. right? We're not like worried about rendering reality in a certain way. We want to just have the joy of paint. Um, um, and so, you know, Jackson Pollock is a painter, right? But we don't worry about that. We don't worry about no. like the oil paint of it. It's just like. Here, look at some paint, isn't it amazing? Um, but somewhere in between might be this uh, feeling of what could be alive in painting that's not, yeah. you know, if you say that this is kind of dead and old, I love it, it's great, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, so, so there are lots of ways of like, how do we bring life into the idea of and so, um, do, 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 where is, yeah, so if you look at something like, oh God, don't, that, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. um, okay, 
So I I, I love Saint Ives uh, work, yeah, the amazing yeah. stuff, right? But um, so the guy called Ben Nicholson was considered one of the greatest British painters. Yeah. This isn't him. This is some retired old um, fisherman. Fisherman, <laughs> St. Ives, mm. and sort of the, uh, the artist community were just like wandering down the street, going, oh, "Bloody hell!" Mm. And they looked at because he was, you know, he was just painting stuff because it was his hobby, right? Mm. And um, so this naive yeah. hobby painting is seen as like. This way of like going, oh, actually, what is there that's got um, energy yeah. and vibrancy? And so you can see, look at the way that the, the clouds are rendered onto cardboard, I'm guessing, mm. right? It's just like throwing the paint at it, and that's enough. It's like, look, mm. paint, paint, paint. And so it's like, what kind of, what, what's, what, that's amazing. Um, and the same sort of thing with, with, um, way that the ocean is rendered. It's like, yeah. okay, I've got a bit of cardboard and whack on it, let's see the paint, right? So this is, um, and, and obviously there's joy in the, yeah. the distortion of perspective because it's yeah. because the naively seen as like, okay, so I look at a <laughs> you know, this is my perspective down on this, and then it's across, and then it's down, it's on the side, or whatever, right? Yeah. But it's but the, but the surface is amazing, right? So this is like untutored painting yeah. raw. Um, it's quite the, old and blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was quite old when he started doing this. Exactly, he was like 75, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyway, so the Ben Nicholson was like, I'm going to nick that. <laughs> and because uh, I want to yeah. investigate what painting can do, mm. so with, there's no real, mm. there's no structure, like when we talked about the structure of building up. Yeah. It's just um, the joy in painted texture mm. and the drawing. Yeah. So you see something like this, somewhere in between, right? Yeah. It's very much texture drawing drawing and carving a line. So he would paint with both ends of the brush. Yeah. Oh what? Both ends of the brush. Oh. So you can put down the, the paint and then the other end is to inscribe the line. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Right? What? So it's like the hard end to have the line. I mean maybe not this one. This this looks like this drawing. Yeah. But you know, so they'd be quite putting something down and then. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then also then. Mm. Let's call it. You can, so, so you can see, that, so that there's a lot of care and attention to the ground, right? This is very much, he would build up um, a very um, heavy. Um, yeah. Just sort of ground, <coughs> right? Eventually, that becomes like uh, plaster slabs, yeah. right? And it's like, okay, this is my painted surface. It's three dimensional, and the and the and the ground kind of is raised and lowered. Mm -hmm. But you know, but even so, here the um, mm. it's very much about like the, the a textured surface. Mm. And so this oil painting is kind of like mm. it's not, it doesn't belong to that family, does it, of oil painting? No. Right? It belongs to the, the family of paint as oil painting. <laughs> you know, it's like look at me, I'm paint. Mm. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and it's not rendering a thing. So, um, and so, and it's not all oil paint. 
It's just saying, here's my drawing, here's my, here's my painted surface. Mm. Um, and there's, you know, this is, is it a landscape? Mm. Maybe. Is it a still life? I don't know, the forms are kind of, mm. have a bit of both. Yeah. It's a composition that's kind of has its roots <coughs> in landscape and still life, and it's shapes, right? Mm. Did he start as a, a like a classic? Yeah. He, he knew all that stuff, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's, he's just kind yeah. of thrown up in the towel and kind of... Yeah, absolutely. So it's like once, you, once you've figured out um, how to do this sort of stuff, yeah. right? It's like, okay, I've done that, now what? Yeah. Right? Yeah, kind of same way. Yeah. Um, so... He might have been looking for something else, wouldn't he? Because he's, like you say, I've done that now. And then he saw sort of an amateurish guy doing... He doesn't know any of that stuff. Yeah. I think, ah, there's something about this I like. It's hard to... Can I, can I kind, of, kind of do something along these lines? Yeah, so you you have um, in France something similar, just like the, the vitality of ah uh, vitality of websites. Sorry, let me see if we can do that again. Um, So, um, in France, you had a guy called uh, Jean de Buffet, who was one of the more prominent of the group, yeah. called Art Brut. Is it Georges or Jean? Uh, no, you're right, Jean de Buffet, sorry. Jean de Buffet. Or Georges? Georges. Uh, <laughs> Georges. No, I just typed that. Yeah, I, Jean, I, yeah, that, that Jean, Jean, Jean de Buffet. Uh, right, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, not to do things. So, so, yeah, if you, so it's a group of um, artists that everyone's trying to refigure mm -hmm. out what painting can be. Where is the life after you've taken photos of things? Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, and their theory was that people who are not very good at drawing are. I've got something better to say. Yeah, that's right? interesting. <laughs> so, so if you think of like children, yeah. right? You think about people who are in um, mental institutions, yeah. uh, prisoners, yeah. right? So people on the outside of society yeah. or naive drawings, mm -hmm. right? They've got like a scribble. It's got life in it, and it's beautiful, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> um, and so it's sort of similar to the mm -hmm. the. Ben Wallace. Uh, yeah. Um, is it Ben? No, no Alfred Wallace. Alfred Wallace. Alfred Wallace. Um, I said William Wallace last night. That's so right. They're all, they're all connected. It's just so. like, they'll never take my <laughs> paints. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> right. um, so you can see this, like, where is the life in the paint? So it's like, okay, can we, can we, um, uh, can we kind of emulate that? And, mm. like, so this is, so I don't know. Busquet, or what is it? Um, yeah, Jean de Buffet. De Buffet. Um, so there's, there, there's a few. There's a few, few, yeah. few different artists yeah. that were kind of trying to there is something work. Like yeah, great. Mm. Um, and eventually it kind of becomes very much very sort of patterned and designed. Yeah. And that's yeah, an odd good. thing, it's right? Good. But the idea, but behind it, it's like what can paint be, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got, so we've got this kind of structured thing that we're talking about, and then less and less structure. Yeah. Um, um, so this is kind of like, in a way, this feels like the the, the Alfred Wallace world is the Brit, the polite version of yeah. the let's paint like mad people in France. It is the same thing. You know, yeah. but it's like, how do we? Have life in the, in the paint, 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, so it's different to like doing the still life that mm. says, okay, how do we render this mm. oil painting to become like mm. uh, a thing? Did any of um, the sort of magnificent people get to a point where they think, well, the outside, we, we love this stuff. We, mm. love, we love Alfred because he's inspiring to mm. us. But he's not necessarily inspiring to the outside world in the, oh. in the art world. Right? So they think that's like, oh, I could do that, a kid could do that. They, now, is there any way, I'm, I'm, I'm finish my question, is yeah, yeah, yeah. they could somehow do the middle thing. They can like use some of their cleverness that they've learned at art school mm. and use the basic idea of that. Yeah, I, I mean, I think so. So, um, so just, did you, were you the one that said that, that they would, they sent off some of the Alfred Wallace's to the to London galleries and then he went to visit and said, oh, well, I've got one of those back. Yeah. <laughs> It's great, I love that story. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so I I mean I think that that yeah. coming out of that is contemporary painting. Mm. I think like if you, I think of people like um, Francis Bacon, yeah. that is yeah. very studied sort mm. of British surrealism yeah. that has that kind of paint yeah. that's um, uh, I think that they liked Alfred Wallace for other reasons as well as that, uh, because he was a Renaissance. Oh my God, what am I talking about? Hey, no, no, that's, that's the other thing. The other thing. That's the other thing. Right. You want that one? I want this one. Oh, this right. so, <laughs> so you can see this is, um, mm. but not white white canvas. Raw, a raw canvas, maybe a prepared mm. one, mm. and then the, the painted mm. surface. Mm. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Where, you, where, you, where it's studied, yeah. I think that's what you're saying. It's yeah. like there's a study, yeah. but there's also then this kind of like just a freedom in it. Yeah. yeah. Even so, the structure, right? You can see the, the drawing. Mm. The drawing's been put down in purple. Yes. Right? <laughs> and green. Yeah, yeah. So you've got this kind of like, I'm just, because, right? Mm. Um, so he's got this. Really, really, like these it lines that are amazing. 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 and then building up structure, but you still get that dark to light. That light is still the last thing. Yeah. And there is, in a weird sort of way, a lightness as well. Mm. Yeah. So it's got scrunched up a bit. Mm. Um, mm. And mm. oh, what do you think is the final thing? So I said that the light is the last thing. No, I think he rubbed his kind of what was he, he just did smudge something or rubbed with sand even I think I don't maybe but what what I'm what I'm gonna propose is the last thing that went on this canvas was the background. Do you think so? Oh uh, yeah. I think it's it this I think it's this chaos and then it's like how do I knock back the frame, chaos frame to make it yeah, yeah to frame it. Yeah. That could well be right. Seen Alfred Wallace's, I'm, I'm not saying there's a connection between them, but would he, would he have known about Alfred Wallace and stuff? Because I, I might be wrong, but what's the, I mean, Francis Bacon was a little bit self taught as well, wasn't he? There's elements to him of self taught. I don't know. I don't think so. I think, yeah. but, but the thing is, so that the, the conversation yeah. is yeah. very public, yeah. right? Yeah. So Ben Nicholson was like, okay, let's do a show. With Alfred Wallace, yeah. let's just show his stuff. Look at this, isn't it great? Yeah. And let's have that as part of the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah. Though it's not, it's mm. it's it's a very public conversation. Yeah. This stuff that goes around, mm. Um, mm. and you know, and so like, mm. and they're all mates, right? So yeah. they they they're they're off to Paris <laughs> and looking at this stuff and blah blah blah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's super interesting. However, okay, we're talking about painting, right? How would you do a painting? Mm -hmm. so, so you can see, the main thing is choose a method, mm -hmm. choose what you want it to do, and then learn that method. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I want to call this um, kind of faux naive. Is 
some massive bumblebee under that thing. Yeah. I think so so it, it's it? Francis Bacon is phony. Well, mm. no, I would say that out of mm. that thinking yeah, so. mm. becomes this idea of pain as paint. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right? So this, out of this, this 20th century thing is um, <coughs> out of that kind of how do we reconsider painting, so mm. impressions and blah, 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 is this mm. presentation of the materiality of paint. Like Pollock is chucking paint at a thing. <laughs> Look at it, it's paint. Yeah. Right? Um, but here, but, if, but even sort of before that, you've still like, here's the brush strokes. Let's have let's look at the joy of the brush strokes. Yeah. Right? It's not like here's looking at a, yeah. a photorealistic thing, mm-hmm. which is kind of like the intention with this sort of sfumato. Because this is like, how do we blend it so that it becomes this realistic, as realistic as we can get it, as the technology will allow, yeah. to, um, there you go, so that's, his, that's his talking up his, I've just done a copy of the most expensive painting in the world. Yeah. <laughs> that's his clickbait, good for him, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, mm-hmm. that, it's trying to do something different, mm-hmm. but it's like, okay, Oil paint is great. Ooh. Okay, so lastly, we've talked a lot about uh, building up layers, haven't we? Yeah. But what if we just go extreme and just go chuck paint up a, a thing, a surface, mm-hmm. right? So this is where I started, which was. Uh, um, <laughs> This kind of, uh, no, 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 this, this, oh, because I want to show you this is beautiful, right? Um, one, so to speak. Um, I started with Auerbach, didn't I? You did, yeah. Yeah. Frank, Frank. There we go. There he is. So you see it's Auerbach paint, which is very, you can see the, yeah, it's the, 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 it's almost delicious. The, this mixed, um, Built up surface, yeah. um, you'll see the, the intermingling of these colours yeah. and then scraping away, yeah. putting in. It's a lot of pain. Um, it used to be, yeah, right? It used to be that you could buy tins of paint yeah. in that kind of mm. five litre tin, yeah. but a lot of those uh, businesses have gone out. So I'm still trying to find how you can buy a tin of paint, mm-hmm. right? Because um, tin of paint. Yeah, tin of paint. So <laughs> it, it, there were certain companies that that, that you just go and you order your mm-hmm. massive fat five ten litre <laughs> tin of oil paint at hundred quid or whatever, but way more than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but it was like good. It was like that's the best yeah. value for money. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's crazy. Um, so this, this, I want to show you this guy. So he's in the Auerbach, um, yeah. Genre. Yeah. Um, okay. um, so George Rowler, he's, he, you know, he's not as well known, but, but he got some really great, Rowler. um, that's 80. Yeah, he got some really nice kind of live documentation of his, of his paintings. So you can sort of see, okay. oh my God, sorry. Like some in the no, let's not have that. Okay. Right, sorry. <laughs> um, let's. There he is, he's got his brushes on. Oh, there he is. Yeah, right. so that's, that's, that's the one. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So he's. Uh, uh, really? Wow. So this is kind of like a la prima. Yeah. Let's make a you can point of this. You can see that. Wow. So, so it's it's mixed. Oh, it's very oh, yeah. oh my god! <laughs> but can you see that there's um, 
there's different colours on yeah, the palette. On the brush. Yeah. So that as you drag, you get yeah. this intermingling. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. As you put that's it down. That's how you mix this. It's like, a, like that's what you're talking about, patience. It's like yeah. tints and plaster. Tints and plaster, yeah. 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 I wouldn't have to do that. No. Paint everywhere. <laughs>
the same thing as an ambivalent, right? Um, so you can see that um, this is kind of quite studied, and, and and so this is, I think, when you said, can you show me how to start with oil paint? I think Matt and I both <laughs> like recoiled in terror. You did have your eyes to open wide. We were like, yeah, you did. <laughs> the lights and I'm like, oh my god, right? And so I've had to think. I've thought about this for like several weeks to like, how do I? kind of give you this overview because it is what kind of oil painting do you want to do? Yeah. Right? And and so learn so that's like so think so these are kind of some strands, right? And it's like, okay, so if it's you know, if it's this, then maybe this is the method. Yeah. If it's this, mm-hmm. you know, then this. I have so no idea about any of this. Great. That's great. So it's like, yeah, so you've got some yeah. you've got some constellations. I can share some things, you can like look at some of these things and go, okay, so um and and it's it's a long project. If you like if you like the idea of getting into painting, it's um it's almost like you find your heroes, try to emulate what they do yeah. and then work out what it is for you. So when you join a painting course, let's say you're joining a short course in painting, you almost want to know how what you they uh, believe yeah. in, or, or, or what yeah. they, yeah. how they want to teach it. Because yeah, maybe absolutely. it might not be how you want to. No, but just go it, you know, it depends on the two Because you'll learn from it. You yeah. learn, learn stuff. But you'd have to sort of ask the yeah. question. Or you, you, to know, you know, um, or you know the Don't worry about that. So I'll, I'll just go with the so like sh- yeah, but like a short course. Yeah, but you know, um, you've done something rather than an abstract one on Tuesday. So Brendan oh, is doing yes. an online one, with, and I think he calls it modern painting. Is it like mm-hmm. a coke or anything? I think it could be whatever, whatever you want to be. Yeah, he calls it modern, so I don't know what that is. So Matthew Court, I, uh, I know this guy because he also crash course. Course. Crash, crash, course. crash course in painting. Have a look and see what what kind of. Um, So limited palette. Yeah. Uh, so, so, you, so, so you already know. Okay. Is is he doing like blue, red, yellow, mm-hmm. um, white, and brown mm-hmm. umber, which is kind of what I started with with color mixing, right? So that might be like the basics, right? Yeah. Um, it, it's probably not more limited. So li- more limited is Zorn. Yeah. Right. So that's kind of more advanced. It's probably gonna go. You know, ultramarine, yellow, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like how we would start the colour mixing. Mm-hmm. What kind of course is that? So it's just crash course in painting. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like, so you can sort of get a feeling because now we've got that overview. Well, what's his name again? You said Matthew. Oh, I'm not, I'm not saying do this course. I'm just saying let's let's have a look at the different. Like, what's the spiel? Yeah. yeah. What's the what's the spiel for the painting yeah. courses? Uh, let's show me those courses. It's a good one, um, drawing into painting, which is basic. Life drawing drawing into painting, yeah. Or there's landscape drawing into painting, it's all Mm -hmm. Steve by. It all depends what, if it's an evening or a day or stuff like that, if you need to look all the stuff like that. It it depends what you want to do as well. So this is going to be like, um, what I'm doing, I'm looking at this, mm. and I'm just thinking, okay, how is that alla prima method yeah. going to influence mm. uh, yeah. life drawing? Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Good, uh, it feels like like that alla prima mm. methodology of mm. um, putting down brush strokes yeah. that then help describe yeah. uh, cool. tone. So you can see, like, it's almost like you can almost like decode. Mm. Like so, there is there is no painting. It's like lots of different paintings, oh, geez, of techniques. What's the landscape one? What's their vibe? A gun tower. It's um, um, one possible lockdown restrictions. <laughs> I think this is much more. This feels much more structured because it's, 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 it's the, the emphasis is on drawing yeah. and building up from yeah. drawing. Yeah. So that feels yeah. like 
much more in that way, but probably not going back to the that you know yeah. Dutch school, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like it probably be in between that mm -hmm. kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting, I think. It's good. It's great. Um, yeah, agree. So um, the so I can just share. Like some people, I think it's worth looking at if, if YouTube is helpful, right? Yeah. Yeah. People that kind of have methods that kind of help. Mm -hmm. So if you're very structured um, yeah. in your thoughts and you want to try sort of a la prima, but with structure, mm -hmm. this guy is really interesting because he, he will be like, okay, how do you pick out colours mm. and match them to what you're oh, okay. yeah. like how do you place a colour on the page? Yeah. Right? That's a um just called draw mix paint. Draw mix paint. paint. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Much yeah. Paint. It's great. It's a very big emphasis on kind of just colour mixing and placement of a stroke. Mm. Right? Um, but so that's very methodical. Um, if you look at sort of um, this guy is called Paint Coach, he's very um, in, more intuitive with his a la prima kind of stuff, and he, he's like building up mm -hmm. and putting in blocks of like color, dark, light. He's, he's much more in that, mm -hmm. um, but it's Particularly if you're worried about um, things going to a bit of a mess, it's like how do you build it up, yeah. even just with very basic yeah. kind of paint stuff paint. like yeah. draw an apple, blah blah blah. Yeah. Paint <clears throat> paint. Um, so th this is kind of, but then also obviously if you if you want to go into this, then 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 painting the light is he's this bloke is. Uh, absolutely nuts and he's very great with that like yeah. historic kind of structural way of mm -hmm. painting stuff um, I don't know what to suggest if you want to paint like um, Auerbach or Kossov or whatever just, right. so yeah, just, George. Yeah. <laughs> just watch George just get alone get alone <laughs> get alone just tell your house yes yeah, so you can buy all this paint
that's why I think putting your chiaroscuro down first, that was what we were talking about at the start, yeah. is this, this kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's where you, um, you start with the, with the open face, put the darks in, then put the lights in, mm-hmm. and then you can go over the top with, once yeah. that's dry, you can go over the top with kind of glaze, um, just thin glazes of colour, and then build up. Yeah. Um, so that's the dare. Yeah. Right? And then you've got the option of leaving the brush strokes in or blending them in, really. It's kind of like that. Right? So that you see how that, that um, grisai, because it's starting with a grey, you've got this very dark, and that's not a grisai. See, it's just using that tonal thing and then building up. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you can now, you've done your days, you can now go and have coffee. I'll go and have a cup of tea, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>